Well, that also comes from a standpoint B. You look at these verses, if you look at them from the aspect that you've never heard of the Trinity, if you never heard that Jesus comes in the form of a man, then these verses would not say that to you. These verses uh, would not say anything other than what they are meant to say. If uh, it, it, it will say in the beginning was the Word, and the Word became flesh. We also believe that Jesus uh, was God's Word manifest. That's what um, he is. He's God's spoken word on earth. During that period of time. Muslims accept that uh, accept the verse. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except by me. We believe that verse, when interpreted in the light of everything, that God has said it always makes sense. The Quran says that about Muhammad, very same words. Each prophet in his time was the way who led the uh, way of God. Abraham was the way in his time. And so on. But if you want to take those verses out of context and try to prove a point with them, I could say God doesn't exist. And I can go and try use some verses from the Bible and put them together and say God doesn't exist. You could take anything from the Bible, you could take anything from the Quran and make it whatever you want it to say. If you want to pick up a pick and choose verses um, and interpret them in the light of uh, uh, preconceived emotions, but if you look at these verses analytically along with the explicit uh, verses when God describes his nature in the explicit verses when Jesus describes his nature then it will uh, come very very clear that he was a human being so if a theologian wants to prove a point he'll take these and try to prove it but all while there is no clear-cut statement when Jesus peace be upon him ever said I am your creator worship me he never ever said that there is no, not a verse in the Bible where that is expressly stated 